Welcome to our Goosebumps Retrospective, where we read a Goosebumps book, talk about it as we drink a beverage, and then if there's an episode of the TV show, we watch and critique that as well. We also have a set of rules. Our rules are you must take a shot if the protagonist of the book has just moved, the protagonist is staying with a relative, the book has a dark ending, or if a character in the book shares your name. Our names, of course, being Jason, Bob, Ned, or Kevin. There's also a final rule that applies to the television show. We would have to take a shot if there is a recognizable actor or celebrity in the episode. With that said, why don't we start with our shot, our intro shot, while Bob reads us the synopsis to stay out of the basement. Dr. Brewer is doing a little plant testing in his basement. Nothing to worry about. Harmless, really. But Margaret and Casey Brewer are worried about their father, especially when they meet some of the plants he's growing down there. This book shot is the What's in the Basement, provided by Amy, Bob's sister. Let's go to Amy for What's in the What's in the Basement. Amy? Thanks, guys. Today's drink is What's in the Basement. We're gonna do one part vodka, two parts Midori, and a splash of sour. Mix over ice, pour, and enjoy. Well, here's our intro shot. Look. Mm. Doesn't smell so good. It'll taste just fine. If you're joining us from last week, you'll know that we made a little bet, a shot bet, on how many times in stay out of the basement they would say stay out of the basement ned guessed seven jason guessed uh 11 or 12. i called him on it he doesn't know half i think it was 11. i guessed 15. he said it twice in a row which means ned won so me and jason have to do the shot cheers to you buddy hope you like ice i don't like this casey I don't like it one bit. So Margaret and Casey's dad has been has been acting funny since he got laid off from his job. He does something with plants. Um, anyway, so he's been working a lot at home lately in the family's basement. Dad's always down in the basement, ever since he lost his job. He won't let the kids go into the basement. The mom doesn't seem concerned about it. She conveniently goes to the airport because she's visiting her sister, right? Eleanor. Eleanor. But you're at Eleanor's sick, honey. She needs me. Basically, the story is back and forth, back and forth, the kids sneaking in the basement, Dr. Brewer telling them to stay out of the basement! At one point, Dr. Brewer's former boss came over to see his progress on his work. So, now let's see what kind of progress you've made. The kids go down there again, and they find Mr. Martinez's jacket. Mm -hmm. So they're like, well, that's weird. And their dad catches them being down in the basement like they shouldn't be. You in the basement? Did you go into the basement? Did you go into the basement? Stay out of the basement! When they get to the, the climax of the book, when they go down for the last time before they find the bodies, they find like balled up and behind some stuff on the shelf, Mr. Martinez's pants and shoes. <laughs> Why did he take his pants? <laughs> Why did he need to strip Mr. Martinez? That plant took off Mr. Martinez's pants. Did he knock him out and then pull off his pants? Oh, no. That's what my, I was like, plants, they're not as modest as men. As men. I like to imagine a plant with its leaves trying to shimmy a grown man, like Mr. Martinez, okay. out of his pants. Well, just take a little peek. And the kids, of course, sneak down for like the third time. And they find Mr. Martinez and their dad locked in a cabinet. And it, you find out, uh-oh, there's two of their dads, and they don't know which is which, the one they rescued from the cabinet and the one that came back from the airport. And it's a whole big, uh-oh, who's who? And Margaret deduces that the tied-up Dr. Brewer must be her dad because he called her princess. He's even stopped calling me princess. Princess. Princess! While they're down there, she's she grabs a knife, yells at everybody, I know how to solve this, stabs the dad who was tied up, to see that he bleeds red, and it's like, oh, that's dad, that's red blood, not green like the other one. At the end, there's this, it's like, oh, we destroyed all the evil stuff, there's still some good stuff, we planted it. And then there's a plant with her dad's face says, Margaret, Margaret, help me, please help me. 
I'm your father. I'm your real father. Real father. Oh, I'm your father. Which means we gotta take a shot for the dark ending. I'm gonna go play. with the. It's like, it's oh, it's not over. Here's to a dark ending. Dark, dark ending. Plan. We compared to the last book, this one, very thin plot. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. I mean, it was there was not a lot going on. It was seriously, they just go in the basement, get caught, go in the basement, get caught. Mm -hmm. Yeah, all the action centers around the kids in their house or outside the house, sneaking into the basement, coming out of the basement, finding a reason to go back in the basement. On topic of uh, how the action primarily- Carl Stein's looking at me and it's creeping me the fuck out. I liked how paper thin R.L. Stein's reasoning was to get the kids in the basement. My sweater! It's in the basement! So the kids have gone in and out of the basement like two or three times. They've seen the creepy plants. They're freaking out. They, they keep hearing the moaning in their heads. And then Casey, the brother's like, Hey, it's such a nice day out. Where are the kites? Oh, they're in the basement. Yep. Let's go, go, let's go get the kites and fly the kites. And it's like... Because that's what kids did in the 90s. They flew kites. I flew kites. I did too. Actually. Did, it's like, did you forget your dad was a crazy scientist and there's creepy plant people in well, your basement? And, no, because kites are worth it. He'd already been down there and a plant wouldn't let him go. Yeah, Casey and got And he's immediately like, you know what? I really want to fly a kite. Yeah, a plant tried to wrap itself around me and kill me. But flying kites. Stay out of the basement felt like it was ripping off like several popular movies. Swamp Thing. How did you get Swamp Thing? I'm interested because in what Swamp it's Swamp Thing was off. a man made from the swamp and chemicals. Kind of, I guess. Swamp uh, Thing. Uh, what do you think is ripped from? The fly. And the fly is something Bob brought up and I thought the same thing. So uh, the dad, Dr. Brewer, in the basement has two mechanical pods mm. hooked up to and each other. And that's how he transfers DNA or what have you from a plant and an animal. Which is that's the same. The fly. Oh, have you seen the fly? Yeah, no, that's fly? Dexter's laboratory. I'm a from it also had vibes of the thing with the whole uh, slicing open to see the blood or if there was uh, red blood or green blood, if there was plant blood. It was very thing-esque. Swamp thing. Swamp is all yeah. watery anyway. I don't even get how you can become a swamp. There's thing. moss. Yeah, there was moss. Moss grows on like the north side of trees. That's how you know which way you're going. Also the North Star. <laughs> 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 I'm curious to what we'll see, and this one being so simple, I really feel like it's not hard to... You've got a cast of a whole six people. The dad, when the leaves start to come from his head, he, he wears wore a Dodgers hat. I want to see if he's rocking the LA. I am curious to see if they'll have Mr. Martinez and if he'll be pantless. With that said, we'll be back after we watch the episode with our critique. Guys, this is officially the first time we've gotten to see the theme song. Oh yeah. Hey. I feel bad for this poor city he's about to unleash hell. Dude, I love this opening. Oh, though. it's a classic opening. <laughs> she, she looks like Sigourney Ooh. Weaver, but sad. That's a dog. Ooh. Look, Look at, at those that. effects. Man. It's really green. <laughs> Why did dad get these green light bulbs installed? <laughs> I wonder if dad's doing the rainforest. What does he mean doing? He's, dad's doing the rainforest? What does that even mean? Plant food? What? Plant food. Mom, I saw him. He was eating it. I'm sure it has something to do with his work. To eat plant food? I'm eating. It has to do with his work. It's okay. Mom, when are you coming home? Aunt Eleanor's just recovering from her surgery. She still needs me. Mom, when are you coming home? When your aunt stops dying. Who sleeps like this? Anybody for lunch? I got a great mixed salad and some garden vegetables. <laughs> <laughs> the cucumber was his wiener. Do you know who that is, Jason? I think that's the guy from uh, Dirty Work that they rent the place from who punches people in the stomach. 
So because Bob recognized a minor, minor actor from the movie Dirty Work starring Norm Macdonald, <laughs> right? we the guy are said drinking. Like four words. Cheers. Ugh. I think I'm going to be sick. They've removed for probably obvious reasons because it's a children's show. The excessive violence is, I'm sure, how it was deemed. It's like you can't have a little girl stab her dad. You'll have little girls stabbing dads all over America. Oh. That's a shame. I enjoyed the addition of the weed killer ending. Attack him. Now. Before it's too late. Destroy him. Like in hindsight, uh, R.L. Stein must have seen the episode and thought, why didn't I think of that? I know this is only our second episode, but I feel like that's the first time in an episode we've seen something change for the better. The dad did have the baseball hat. But a, it was not LA. It, it wasn't. It had a big yellow S, so it was obviously for San Diego for, uh, snakes. It was San obviously Francisco sands. You've got your dirty ass Chucks on me. What is Chuck's last name? If you can tell me that, I'll take them off of you. Fenway. No. <laughs> Charles <laughs> Fenway made <laughs> shoes. <laughs> Absolutely, you're right. So what would you guys rate Stay Out of the Basement? The as book? A, as a book, yeah. Well, this was worse than the last one. Okay. So I feel like it gets maybe a 5.5. They, they never change scenes. They're always around the house. I feel like it was lazily written. I don't know. And it just didn't, I mean, it just didn't hold my attention like the last one. The plot was just so... Baron, we go in the basement, get in trouble. Go in the basement, get in trouble. Go in the basement, get in trouble. It, it wasn't that good. I'm gonna put it at a five with Ned. What's happening here? We got really Look at those areolas. Look at those areolas. And a lot of hair. Look at those hair That's not a lot of hair. No. That's not a lot of hair. Compared to the sweater you're wearing under, under my smoking jacket. jacket. No wonder I'm so hot. It's so hot. I would, I, you know, we're gonna go wild card. I would give it a eight, eight out of ten. I was surprised how minimalistic this plot was, but how engaging it was the entire time. Up next, we have Monster Blood. It's a Monster Blood drive. So what they're what they're saying is, instead of a blood drive. Is a monsters monster. driving cars of blood? Please join us next time for Monster Blood. Reader, Reader beware. beware. Are we all saying that? Yeah, we I did feel last like we just talked too. about this. Uh, Didn't we do it? I we thought we were all going to read the title. No, we all read the title. We read last the title. Time. Now we're saying Reader Beware. Join us next time for Monster Blood. Join us next time for Monster Blood. Reader Beware. I thought we were saying monster blood. No! He just said monster blood. Yeah, I just I said the title of I it. I thought we just said monster it. blood. No! Well, that about wraps it up for Stay Out of the Basement. That route wraps route. Nah, yeah, shut up, you fucker. Well, that about wraps it up for Stay Out of the Basement. Join us next time for Monster Blood. Read monster beware. Blood. <laughs> oh, oh, oh shit. shit! Are you okay, dude? Bye.